house. I'm the owner of this house. I think we bought it about 10 years ago. And it was just a flip project. And I actually had another project at the time, so we kind of let this one go for a little while. That's when the neighbors started telling us the lights were coming on, and that's the beginning of the story there. Exactly. So can you tell us about any crazy happenings that affected you here in the house? I, I don't even think about that stuff. That wasn't even... I'm more into science, mm -hmm. and measurability, and that. But we had a fire that HUD had marked upstairs. The fire actually happened because me and my brother had to close that damage up. HUD had actually removed the bathroom floor to expose it for whatever reason. But uh, that was the first project we'd done in here. Wow. And that's when I thought I saw my brother come into the house. And I had the radio cranked up so I couldn't hear, but that's the way we worked. He would slip in, he worked a second shift, and I would leave and he'd take over. But I was kind of struck by the fact he went into the dark room. I'll show you that. It, I had worked till it got dark. I lost track of time. The only light I had at the time was a floodlight. Mm -hmm. And I seen him go into the room, and after a few seconds, why would he drop his tools in a dark room? So I got up to see what he was doing, and he wasn't there. And that's when it first gave me the creeps right then. Mm -hmm. Three or four weeks later, I uh, had some problems with some lights that had gone off. I mean, left me with just the floodlight. It's almost uh, funny to tell because it's like a bad movie, but I had gone into the back room where I had my tools, had walked out, and that light cut out behind me. But they were original bulbs. I just chalked up as they just, you know, I shook the floor or something. Went into the hallway and turned it in the kitchen, and that light went out. Mm -hmm. Now it's they're all out. And again, I was like, eh, that has to be bulbs burning out. Just coincidence they went off like that. And then the neighbors started talking about the lights coming on, they're seeing people. Then it got to where the police were called. The worst one I had, I hate to tell this, it was a year or two ago, I had a contractor over here and we was looking at the rest, taking bids. And this is daytime. And I was upstairs and uh, those little ladybugs or whether they got into the house real bad. And after he'd left, I thought, well, I'll sweep them out. And uh, I went into all the rooms upstairs looking for the broom, and it was in front of me all this time, right there by the stairs. And I started to you know, sweep the floors out, and I heard a hiss. I can't describe it. It was an oddball sound. And, of course, it startles you, and I looked down the hall, and whatever it was, I didn't see it, but it looked like it was breaking the light as it was taken off. Now, I told everybody it must have been birds outside, a rare condition. But that was the worst. But that was probably the most terrified I've ever been. And that guy doing the room heard something, and we swear it came from down here. And it sounded like tools clanging. A lot of people have gotten some shots down here or something. When was this house built? Uh, at best we can tell, probably 1850s, the center section right here. Then it was added on after that. Mm -hmm. So in the well that they talk about, I yes. do believe it's behind this wall. And it's, it's covered, but uh, I don't know how deep it is. Hi, I'm Sherry Stewart. Um, I am Pamela Norris's and Eddie Norris's sister-in-law. And you did not want to meet us at the house or have anything to do with the house. Why is that? Um, the last time that I was at the house, we were doing an investigation. This was about a month ago. And um, we were doing a live EVP session, and one of the gals asked, what is your name? And um, the recording came back, I am Legion, demon of many, my name is Belize Bob. That was the last straw for me. Yeah, leading up to that, um, I was scratched in the kitchen. Um, my leg was bleeding. And I felt like it was singling me out. Some of the EVPs, it was calling me by name. It was saying nasty stuff like, I wanna rape you, Sherry. I wanna kill you, Sherry. Go home, Sherry. It was always my name. <laughs> it was just too much. The so, same night, one of the gals got felt like she was get, got punched in the stomach, too. How, how many times have you investigated that house? Oh, my gosh. Too many to even count. I mean, we've been in the house for three years now just investigating. 
I don't even know if I'm going to investigate anywhere anymore. I'm just to that point where I think maybe I'm just done. <laughs> because of that experience, mm -hmm. those experiences at the Monroe mm -hmm. house. Yeah. Okay. I think the house can be overpowering. Um, for me, I would leave and I would constantly start thinking about the house, obsessing about the house. Um, it, it controlled my every wake. I would wake up in the middle of the night and instead of thinking about, you know, oh, my bills that are past due or my kid, worrying about my kids, my thought at three in the morning would instantly go to the house. I know my sister has gone through some of the same stuff. Um, and honestly, I wish they would just walk away from the house. I know it's a big investment. It's a rental and they've got a bunch of money tied up in it. However, I just wish they would walk away. I just find it kind of bizarre. Um, when we do our live EVP sessions, we get so many voices, it's unreal. Old women, young women, men, children. I don't know if it's a portal, I don't know what it is, but it's just bizarre. Um, also, once in the basement, I was giving a tour and um, walked down the steps. My sister-in-law and my son were in the basement with me and the lights turned off on their own and it was pitch black and at that time a pipe was thrown at me didn't hit me but it hit the limestone wall behind me bounced off the wall i screamed bloody murder and then the lights came back on again it was a copper pipe i mean we were the only three people in the basement we're at 53.8 temperature was All right, so you want to talk to us on this device, we're going to run it, apparently. We'll see what happens. Was that you stomping? talking about uh, we're going to believe. Did you just stomp? Yeah, I kicked my chair. David. Do you remember me from last time I was here? You're going to pay for it. Pay for it? And then it said Dave after that. What am I going to pay for? I didn't do anything. Grave and babe and property. I want to know who started the fire in this house. One of the fires that killed somebody. I 
All right, let's go back to the beginning then. What was this property before any houses were here? died in this house. Can you tell us that? Dead people. How many people died on this property or in this house? Or both? Five? Did you hear that? No, I heard a woman say five. Four. Girl. Bastard. Master? Yeah. Where's the evidence? about the well under this house or on this property that's buried? Buried. Is that what I said yeah. before I got done talking? About? Are there any bodies in it? I thought I heard five. I did too. Confirm that. How many bodies are in the well? What started the fires in this house? Who or 
what was it that started the fires? Devil. Huh? Devil. It said devil? I've got that a lot yeah. last time. Yeah. Yeah. Same responses. Dude, the floor. Something's tapping on the floor. Under my foot. Under your foot. That might have been me moving. Oh, it's still I, doing I, it. Oh, it's still doing it? Because I just moved my feet back like that. Did you feel that? No. Well, stop it. Are you under us? And tr are you under the floor? Yes or no? Were you a human? You still didn't tell me who or what started the fires. What are you trying to make people believe in? What was your sole purpose here at this house? Were you conjured through a Ouija board? What was it that brought you into this house? Ritual. What kind of ritual? That was clear. Yeah. That was a flurry. What kind of ritual brought you into this house? I, there's, there, I keep seeing movement over here. Me too. I'm seeing movement all over the place. Yeah. Again, what kind of ritual brought you into this house? What did they use to conjure you here? X. X. Who owns this house? What's Eddie? Eddie. 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 Who was the man who performed the ritual that brought you in? Or was it a woman? Name the person who did the ritual. Thank you.
You utilize this. Whoa. Do you hear that scream? What happened in the child's room?
What kind of demon? Sorry. <laughs> we think so much on that. Mike, what's the home stuff? Yeah. What were they trying to summon with the ritual they did? Tell me what they were trying to summon with the ritual.
Is there something that keeps you here? Demon. Does a demon keep you trapped here? tragedy um, it, it bothers me a lot um, so you know we're getting something that is telling us that there's a baby who died and and it's repeatedly saying that a man killed the baby so we're just trying to get some more key pieces of this whatever this is about one of our cameras on the tripod behind Dave has been uh, turned off what three times now Dave yeah I'll, I'll show them that camera right there that's filming that's lit up. It's been turned off manually by something two times. Was not, uh, the battery did not die. It was the, the camera was physically turned off. And then after that, uh, we had confirmation it was indeed some kind of entity turning the camera off. First time it just laughed when Dave said something turned my camera off. We got a ha ha. And, uh, it stated HD, it's an HD camera. And the next time they was telling it to leave the cameras on and it was refusing to do so. So we are getting intelligent responses from something. Jamie? Yeah. You want candy? Who said they wanted candy? Is there anyone in the well of this house? Who was the victim in this house? The baby. Tell me who kept messing with the camera. Me. Me. Who are you? The mother. The mother. Are you the mother of the child that died? To me, that's a sign, man. Oh, yeah. Definitely a
All right. If you want us to use it, move the playing check to yes, all by yourself. Done. Do it now. It's not. I don't see it done. Not moving. Uh oh. I'm getting light headed now. Light headed. Bad. Don't touch me. You're not allowed to touch me. Just because you can't make us use the board like you want. We're giving you a way to communicate through this box. That's my keys. When are you your strongest? We sure like to know some more answers about the children that were injured or killed in this house or this property. Can you give me anything? Names, ages, whatever. They were dead. They were dead. How many of them were there dead? Little four. Did you hear that? You manipulated that creepy doll prop earlier. Let's see if you can make a sound in this room to let us know you're in here. Knock on a wall, the floor, make a knocking noise like this. Slight sound outside the doorway. Wind. Mm. Let's hear you tap on something in this room. Let's try this. You seem to like dolls. There's a whole lot of them on this dresser. Make one of them move. Make one of them move or fall over enough so that we can see it. Are you behind him? If that is you, go over there and knock one of those dolls over. Car. Did you? Yeah. A lot of stuff rattling in this room. There's a weird burning 
smell in here? I smell something odd. Uh, it almost smells electrical to me. No EMF on this. Alright, any spirits that are in this room or in this house that want to communicate to us, with us, utilize the noise and the energy coming out of this box to speak with us. Do you know who we are? No. I'm Dave and that's David. Who are you? What did you say your name was? Can you tell me the owner's sister-in-law's name? The current owner. I need to know her name. Yeah, her name. Sherry. There it was. Real low. Now, can you tell me on one occasion who scratched Sherry on the leg? Yes, Sherry. Who scratched her on the leg? Name the person that scratched Sherry's leg. Or the entity. Who's in here? Echo. What's a perversion? Baby. 
Close this door? No. I didn't. I didn't either. I don't you did. Let's see if it closes on its own. I, I was the first one through, and then you came through. Yeah. What the hell was that? Did you hear that? <sighs> no. You didn't hear that? I didn't hear that. Sound like it said me. Did you close the door?
Um, hold on a second. I want to get something to keep that door open. This one? Yeah. I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> get one of these chairs. Holy shit, David. When I came back through here, I heard something scurry back that way. This is a heavy ass metal chair. Freaky dude, to what just happened up there? Who just moved the chair or shut the door on us upstairs? On David? Yes, Who really moved and shut the door? Grant. We got that noise right. upstairs. Yeah. That name upstairs. Yeah. And the EMS hit. Yeah. Greg, are you the one that hurt the children? Confirm that, Greg. Did you hurt the children? I did really like mm -hmm. Did you kill any children, Greg? Hey. Did you do it intentionally, Greg? No choice. Did you kill the children on purpose, Greg? Strange. Yeah. What year was that in, Greg? What year did you hurt the children in? Or the child? 48. 48. 51. 51. Can you tell us one more time what year did you hurt the child or children in? They're just throwing a lot of numbers in there. They do this every time. Yeah, that was evil. Here no evil. Why did you hurt them? Who's walking around up there? Can you do it again? Stomp one time?
Is there a well down here that's buried? Basin. Basin. Very clear. Is it behind this wall right here I'm pointing at? Yeah. Are there bodies in it? Other bodies in that well. Why were the bodies put in the well? Why were the bodies put in the well? We are contacting them. Are there any children down here that want to communicate with us? There is. They were here. And before that, they won't. Right now. Are the children here with us, yes or no? Chosen. Who were they chosen by? Children, yes. Who chose the children? What were they chosen for? We don't want to see, we want to know. Tell us. Who started the fire right here where I'm pointing on this beam? Tell us who started the fire. Who? Phil. For what started the fire? children that was harmed or killed in this house? Drugs. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear drugs. I thought I heard drugs.
Who drugged you? Is there anything the children wish to tell me and David? Children only. Can you tell us your names, please, or your name? Is something stopping you from talking to us? Why is the demon stopping you from talking? If you're buried under this house, can you come out and show us right there? Walk in front of that green light. Were you burned to death? Did you burn to death? Someone's touching my head. Who's touching Dave? Dave. Who's touching Dave? Tell a story, find out information. Let go, man. You want us to go or stay and talk to you? Die. No, we're not going to die.
Brady. There it is again. Brady. So, Brady's a little boy's name. Are you a little boy? Yes or no? Okay. Were you killed in this house, Brady? Yes, that was great. Who did it, Brady? Mother. Can you repeat that? Who hurt you, Brady? He did. Okay. Might have said father. Do you know the name of the man who hurt you? What's his name, Brady? Here. 
sound like another kid came through and said hi. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was, that was very funny. Um, I really wish you would tell us your last name, Brady, if you're still here. No, and that man's voice again. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Who's stopping Brady from talking to us? Who's stopping the children from talking? Is it Greg or Sean? Or someone else? Yeah. yeah. We're going to leave soon. We just want to tell your story if you want to tell us. Or if you can tell us. Never. said that your children were harmed. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. Yes. Yeah. Can, so, you, can you tell us your name? I feel something watching us from the stairs. Yeah, I keep, I've been feeling that the whole time. Tell us your name. Speaking to the woman, the mother. Then it's a Dave when you walk by. Who just said my name? Answer David's question. We're talking to the mother, please. We need to know what you felt, what happened to your kid. Drowned. That was clear. Did you hear that? Yeah. Very clear. Drowned. How did it drown? What? What she said? Can you repeat that? How did your child drown? Was it an accident or did someone kill your child? Was justice served, yes or no? Did the person get away with harming your child? your name, the mother. Ursula? Can you be clear? What is your name? Please? We're getting stuff. Some of this is just really It's horrible. Yeah, it's really horrible. Well, we got about five more minutes. You're running out of time. We really want to hear what you have to tell us. This is your chance. Can someone help you to find peace?
What do you need to find peace to any human spirit stuck in this house or this property? Haunting. Huh? Haunting. Is that only it said haunting? Is something holding you in this house? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Blood. Oh, yeah. Blood. Blood ritual. Blood. Yeah. Do you need release from this property? What's the name of the spirit holding you here? Greg. Wow. Was was the spirit holding you here conjured here? Can't, you can't get any better responses than that in my book, brother.